okay hello guys uh, welcome to uh, my youtube channel uh, today i want to show you how to do some you know simple google maps api you know programming and um, i did this earlier on my you know on my blog and as you can see you know this is a uh, simple developer.com and i you know i did a five five or six part series on uh, you know starting you know getting started with google maps apis and you can see that it's pretty simple and illustrated with code and all that now if you want to do this on your own yeah, you know i decided to do a video version of this so that you know those who are interested can still watch it now let's jump into this really quick the most important part of this uh you know i just created a file called index.html it's advisable to separate the scripts from the html tags and you know html code itself or uh, what do we call markup sorry okay so what we are doing here is uh we add this source this is what this is where the google maps api is stored okay so you make sure that you need to you add this to your header uh part of your uh of your, of your markup make sure to do that now after adding that you know we just went ahead and um created a div element i call this div element map canvas you can call it whatever you want as long as you know you can remember it all right now after that we go ahead and create a script you know we again you can do this on a different uh on a different you know in, a, in an external source file so that you can actually clean up your code so we have a function here called initialize and inside that function we've we uh, we declare a variable called map options this is actually uh, something called map options in Google Maps and it takes several properties but the basic three are the center which takes uh, a latitude longitude pr uh, type and that you know tells you where the map will sh will show like when you load it up on your browser where you will uh, see the map pointing at and then it also takes a zoom zoom is an integer and this is from from 0 to like 23 or something like that but it can be more than that depending on um, depending on uh, the, the number of data the amount of data available for that map now when it comes to the third one we call it map type ID and there are like currently four types of that and it can be road map or a satellite or a terrain or uh, hybrid so you can choose whichever you want depending on your needs now after doing that remember this is an object that you declare here and you will need it later and so we just we just initialize our map here and uh, this is just very simple variable map is equals to new google.maps.map then you say document get element by id now re remember this is a reference to your element your div element that you created earlier so remember to you know just write that as you know as it pleases you now that one uh, should be clear here so we are saying variable map is equal to that this takes two uh, arguments the first argument as we have seen here is the reference to the div element that we want to put uh, our map and the second part is the map options object so this is a map options object that we created earlier it's always good to call it map options or just call it options so we just pass it in there and we are done initializing our map now finally just you know to make sure that it loads up on our browser we just say google.maps.event.addDOM listener and then we pass in a window and when we do this if you're familiar with javascript it is like saying windows dot window dot onload so window dot onload so when you load the window you pass in the in initialize function so it, it's pretty familiar if you've done this uh, you know if you've done window dot on or javascript before so you just pass in window and then we also uh, pass in onload event and then initialize function so that's it so you just close that in there and you'll be done now as i said earlier i am using um, you know maybe you're wondering how i'm loading my files or uh, you know running the web pages i'm using uh zamp control panel and i just started my apache web server and, and then i just go to my local host and if you go to your local host you should see something like this okay 
so you can zoom in and zoom out or you can even switch from map to satellite let's switch that really quick and there you go okay so that's it and uh, I hope you have uh, you have some fun doing this and uh, it should be really very easy remember to add this and create a tag and then you can you know just copy this uh, code here and you know do whatever you want and remember to you know visit my blog and give me a shout out or something like that stop by okay have a good day and thank you